text in our uh, group of videos um, for discrete functions. And this one is called arithmetic series. Not sequences, but series. And uh, for this one, you're going to need the course pack page that says arithmetic series uh, at the top. Uh, so go ahead and get that. You can pause the video and I'll wait for you. Actually, you'll wait for me. Uh, come back and, um, and when you have the course pack page. Okay, so an arithmetic series is similar to an arithmetic sequence. So here is an arithmetic sequence. How can you tell that it's arithmetic? Well, there is a common difference. It means that if you take 3 minus 1, 5 minus 3, 7 minus 5, and so on, they all have the same difference, which is 2. Um, so that is an arithmetic sequence. It's separated by commas. So an arithmetic series is the sum of all of these numbers. So instead of separating by commas, you're actually separating by plus signs, and we're going to be adding them all up. Okay, that's the difference between series and sequence. So um, through here, it goes through a proof for a formula that is the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series. So you can, on your own, take, uh, take a look at this. It's actually kind of cool what they do um, and see how they develop the formula. Uh, so this is the formula that we're going to be using now. So this is your third formula. Okay, Sn is the sum. N is the number of terms we're going to add up. A is the first term. D is the common difference. So let's do example one, the sum of a series given the first term. And it's asking us to uh, add up the first 60 terms. So what do we know? We know that the A is 5. To get the D, just subtract the terms. So 8 minus 5 is 3. Just check that 11 minus 8 is also 3, and it is. And then N is the number of terms we want to add, so 60. Okay, so now we're just going to sub that into the formula. So always write the formula first. Good communication. And then plug in all your numbers. So pause the video, please, while you go and work this out. And come back, we'll see uh, if your answer matches mine. Okay, and there you have it. Uh, once you put all your, your, your variables in, uh, you can just put the whole thing in the calculator in one line and you get 5,610. It's very important when you're doing these problems that you write the formula first and then show the step where you substitute the numbers. Then that way if your final answer is not right, um, then your teacher knows whether it's the formula you don't know how to use or uh, you just put the numbers in the wrong place. Okay, uh, let's do B. So B, same thing. Is this arithmetic? It, it is. Um, the A is negative 6. And what is the D? Well, remember these terms, are they're not separated by commas anymore, but they're still separate terms. So this is negative 6, negative 8, negative 10. To get the D, you take any number and subtract the number before it. So negative 8 minus negative 6 is negative 2. Okay, and again, they want 60. So go ahead and do that one. So pause your video and uh, do it on the side and then come back and check with me. Okay, so hopefully you um, figured out where to put the numbers. So we're just writing the formula for Sn first. The next line should be, therefore, S60 equals. So we're already substituting in for the n. I forgot to write it over here, but I should have. Um, and put in all the numbers, and you get negative 3,900. Okay, so there's nothing terribly difficult about this. It's just really another uh, formula to know. Um, but we might need to combine some of the things from sequences with some of the things from series. So, for example, let's look at this question, example two. The sum of a series given the first and the last term. So, this is what we need to add up. It's not telling us how many terms there are, um, but it is telling us from 5 to 201. So, if you recall, there was a question like this in arithmetic sequences lesson um, where it asked us how many terms are in the sequence. So, what did we do? So, here you have uh, A is 5. A is 5. You can tell that the D is 4. 
a is 5, d is 4. We don't know n. Now, if we knew a, d, and n, then we can just sub everything into the s, n formula and get the sum of those terms, but we don't know how many terms there are. So what we did when it was the sequences lesson is we said the following. Here is the formula for the general term of an arithmetic sequence. Sequence, not series. So I'm just going to write over here. General term of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, why did we do this? Because we're trying to solve for the n. Tn, so sum n, uh, the term in position sum n is 201. And that is going to equal to 5 plus n minus 1 times 4. And we can solve this now to see which term number is 201. So 201 equals 5 plus 4n minus 4. So this becomes 1 on this side. Move it over, so I'm just skipping a step. 200 equals 4n, and so 50 equals n. Therefore, we know 201 is the 50th term. So what is the sum of the series then? Well, we know there are 50 terms. So Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d, and therefore S50 is equal to 50 over 2 times 2 times um, 5 plus 50 minus 1 times 4. Okay, and just check. You should uh, be able to calculate that. You can pause the video if you want, um, but it just does calculate to 5150. Okay, so now you know how to use the sum formula. You need to memorize the sum formula and um, just know that occasionally you're going to have to use the sequence formulas at the same time. Okay, when we do problems in class, you're going to use these formulas sometimes with algebra. So you're not given numbers, but you're given letters. Um, you just use the formulas in the exact same way uh, and manipulate the terms with algebra. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in class.